Well, this is embarrassing. If uh, me of any time in school made the snafu like I just did last week that I did right now, I'd be very mad at myself, and I kind of am a little embarrassed that I don't know how to spell. What am I talking about? Well, in the uh, planning of the few guests around Mondays of doing all the states in the U.S., it was the goal to do them alphabetically. And I got all the way up to last week before I was uh, unable to remember how to spell. What am I talking about? Anyway, I went straight to Missouri when, in fact, after Minnesota, there was a, another state that I'm doing now that should have been done last week. And it's a doozy, let me say, at least historically wise for the, for the country. And I'm talking about <clears throat> the great state. Let me hit the button. Of uh, Mississippi. A interesting state, to say the least. Um, as I was doing a quick review of the state myself before I actually uh, um, did this video, I was a little surprised with a couple of things I found on here. Some of the stuff, not so much. Uh, I mentioned a couple other times about thir certain things with the state, but I'll get to those as we uh, roll on through the video. Hopefully, I can get through all of this. It, it might be a dump, so my apologies if... It seems a little rant, maybe not ranty is the wrong word, but just, we'll say informed. Um, so let's get the uh, basics out of the way as far as Mississippi goes. As you can see, here's Mississippi. It's a, another southern state um, down here right next to uh, Louisiana, bordered by the Mississippi River on the west and parts of Louisiana, Gulf of Mexico in the south. Alabama on the east and north, you've got Tennessee and a little bit of Arkansas here as well. It's um, the 20th state admitted to the Union back in uh, December 10th, 1817. And then it left and then it came back, but we'll get to that. Um, hopefully I can find what this road is called. Uh, I doubt it since that seemed to be a bit of a side street. It's the Magnolia State, the Hospitality State, and um, let's see here. Its capital and largest city is Jackson, down here. There's a couple other large cities around. you got like Hattiesburg, you've got, uh, I keep hearing Biloxi. I can't remember exactly where that is. That might be more of a, uh, oh, Biloxi's down here. Gulfport, Hattiesburg, two below to a cent. Memphis, well, South Haven is kind of in the metro of Memphis. Natchez as well. It's um, 32nd in area. Uh, it's highest elevation is only 800 feet. Lowest is the Gulf of Mexico. <clears throat> um, 34 average in total population with almost 3 million. Although the census is happening now and that may change. Families first from Mississippi. Brick and Spoon. Jackson Avenue. I'm not seeing any road signs on here to let me know where we are. Hopefully I can find something. This is a Lafayette. I don't know where Lafayette County is, so this, this is going to be a, a problem. And these are always great to read. Because uh, if you've not been to the South, there are billboards, you know, that's what we just passed, which are advertisements on the side of the road. A lot of states have them. Only a few don't. Um, and in the South, you get a lot of very uh, religious and or political ads. And me living in a state that has neither of those makes for very interesting reading because I don't get to see these things very often. I'm really wishing I could see a... Uh, a uh, sign of anything on this road to hopefully better figure out where we are. I've only got 
like maybe we're on like it doesn't feel like a highway i'm just gonna say we're like down here i know this isn't it maybe we're like on this i'm just gonna click that um let's see what else we got 50th in income rank there's oh we were way up north on route 278 well i never was able to find that it's there's a lot of bad things um rank wise when it comes to while well, we're down here on the coast one of these um it's let me see if i can get the wording right here um it is usually frequently ranks low among states in measures of health education and development high measures of poverty and um there's a lot of historical baggage is a nice way of putting it um tied to the state and it basically goes back all the way to what is this past christian corporation limit i don't know what that is oh we're down here sweet i'm gonna say we were like here. I'm gonna head home and maybe find a street sign. Let's get down to here and see what the <clears throat> see what this is called. Um, yeah. So we'll do crash course. Well, I'll try to Oak Alley. Oak Alley. Okay. I won't so much yada yada. The uh... okay. Here we are. We're like there. Since I've got it pretty much nailed, I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, there's a little nugget of Alabama that's on the Gulf of Mexico. There it is. So Mississippi was the second state to secede from the Union when the Civil War was going on. It was, it's a very, at the time, let's see here. Um, okay. Mississippi declared a secession from the Union on March 23rd, 1861, in one of the seven original Confederate states. Um, which is South... It's basically... I was about to show you on a second screen, but that doesn't help me. Let's... Well, it's basically... It's like all of that. Then, you know, things split along the lines. Then after the Civil War, it was restored to the Union on February 23rd, 1870. So it was technically part of the country twice. Um, it's got a very high percentage, like, uh, okay, let's start again. So, yeah, the Confederate thing, it was mainly a agricultural state. A lot of their labor was slave labor, and when you set up your economy in a certain way, and then other people tell you, hey, you can't do that anymore for a lot of reasons, and they're like, well, you've just ruined everything we've set up. We can't make money the way we did. Our economy was set up in a certain way. We can't really exist anymore like this. So we gotta, we don't want to change. We want to keep doing what works for us. And then the Civil War happened, and then they lost. They're a bit sore about it. Technically, still are a lot of states, especially, well, including um, Mississippi, still has part of the Confederate flag in their state flag. It's just kind of like a, you could call it sore loser, you can call it heritage if you want to, but that's just a northerner's uh, perspective on it. So you can call me biased when it comes to that. Um, so after that happened, they were still a little sore about it, and I don't want to point fingers, but maybe they're still kind of a bit R. You know, there's the whole thing with Jim Crow. Um, the whole civil rights movement, right, uh, race riots, lynchings, um, constant strife, and oh, I was seven. Come on, seven points off. You saw how far down. Uh, well, I didn't actually. If I zoomed in a bit more, I probably could have seen these buildings and then actually adjusted myself to get that score. So silly me. But let's see if I can't do a quick little summation and not try to sound too much of an idiot. I, again, I'll try to sum it up. Don't take what I were, what I say verbatim. I mean, you could at least look at Wikipedia like I am right now, but a lot of the, 
um, health, economical, and cultural things can kind of all be stemmed from the Civil War and the aftermath. And maybe resistance is too strong of a word, but maybe it's coming from that as well. Um, you had, back in that time, there was also the Republicans and Democrats as two kind of main parties in the U.S., but back then they, they, they were switched, where Democrats were, at the time, the ones pro-slavery, pro-segregation, and the Republicans were the other way. It switched. Oh, God, I knew this at one point. The early 20th century. Again, I'm rusty on this stuff. But let me take a sip. And um, I read this in here. I should have, like, highlighted this stuff, too. Actually made it so I wouldn't actually be flubbing around for this, but I really should actually kind of pay attention to this and maybe actually Jumpertown, Church of Christ. I don't know if I'm going to find Jumpertown. That's a interesting name. Yazoo City is another good one. Um, but, man, where is it? Oh, we do have a school here. Home of the Cardinals. Are we jumper town. Prentice County? Hmm. I think I've heard of that county before. But to sum it up, even though I really haven't said anything, was you've got the North winds of Civil War, South is very sore about it. They're kind of dragged kicking and screaming into the Reformation or, you know, Reconstruction after the Civil War. Where they're like, all right, we'll, we'll do it, but we're not going to, we're not going to do it the way you want. We're still, we're, we're going to fight this and, you know, do vote suppression, <clears throat> lynchings, riots, um, other Jim Crow laws. If you don't know about Jim Crow, you can, again, Look that stuff up in Wikipedia. Read that stuff there just to get some facts. Just know that a lot of the strife from the, from basically after the Civil War up until you could argue now, all stem from that. And a lot of it has to do with, um, uh, God, where's the wording here? Construction, like planning, and, God, what is the word? I'm doing such a bad job at explaining this stuff. It's a bit embarrassing. And I don't think I'm going to find the name of this place, like, in time, because they don't seem to like putting their names on towns here. Um, I've never been to Mississippi, so I really don't know. How the state's set up, I was very surprised reading this, that it is an extremely forested area. There's a lot of trees still here. I forget what they said, 90%? Oh, we were super north, huh? Oh, yeah, you can jump her town. I'm going to get, unless I get super lucky like I did last time, a terrible score on this. But I feel dumb. That I tried to sit there before the video start. I'm, I'm going to try to explain things and say why Mississippi seems to be lowest ranked as far as all this goes, and it seems to base off of uh, the lag and hangover, I guess you could call it, of the Civil War and inability to adapt and change. I guess you could say a little stubbornness. Why did we take that short little? way into Wendy's there. That seemed weird. But um, some interesting other points I had here that I saw. Um, where is it? It's ranked 50th or last place among all other states for healthcare, including, according to some fund, it's the highest rate of infant and neonatal death in the U.S., um, fewest dentists in the U.S., Mississippi and Arkansas, both those states, Hanging Moss Road, 
For three years in a row, more than 30% of Mississippi's residents have been classified as obese. 2006 study, 22.8% of the state's children were classified as obese. Mississippi has the highest rate of obesity in the U.S. and ranks first in the nation in high blood pressure, diabetes, and adult inactivity. Uh, let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. Study stress that obesity starts in early childhood, extending into adolescent years and then possibility into adulthood. It noted impediments to needed behavioral modification, including Delta likely being the most underserved region in the state, which the Delta is, you got down here, part of the uh, Mississippi River Delta. It's kind of like this whole section, you could say. Uh, let's see here, where was I? Delta like being most underserved region in the state with Afri African Americans, the major ethnic group, lack of accessibility and availability of medical care, and an es estimated 60% of residents were living below the poverty rev level. Additional risk factors for most schools had no physical education curriculum, and nutrition education is not emphasized. Previous intervention strategies may have been largely ineffective due to not being culturally sensitive or practical. And a survey said 95% of Mississippi adults consider childhood obesity to be a serious problem. So there's, there's a lot of issues when it comes to um, health and education down here. And a lot of it, what do we got? Mississippi Barber Academy. Uh, front page, oh man, I thought I could maybe suss out where this is. But I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Um, uh, there was a very, in, well, I'm not going to say interesting. It was a, uh, a, a little segment they had on a, th I think it was like Super Size Me. If you've never heard of that documentary, it was a, like a cultural phenomenon might be too strong of a word, but it was a popular or popularized documentary back maybe 15 years ago at this point, maybe even longer. This guy who basically spent his entire, um, month, I believe, I forget how long exactly he was doing for he ate nothing but McDonald's all day just to see what it was like living on a uh, fast food diet. And, man, I gotta pick a place, and I'm not, I'm gonna say we're Hattiesburg, but I, I didn't see anything, and I'm a bit distracted this episode. So my apologies for my inability to focus, but we were outside Jackson. Um, but one of the things they talked about was the, like, unaffordability of certain foods compared to others where certain families, you know, both parents have to work. They have to work a lot to make ends meet. And their kids, they got to feed the kids every night. That's kind of a thing you have to do. And comparatively speaking, for buying food when you've worked all day, you're tired, you got to get home, you got to cook stuff, and you don't want to sit there spending all of your time after you've spent all day working cooking food for your kids. It's easier just to buy cheap, easy, and most of the time extremely tasty food than it is to try to make it. Like if you were to compare how much, what just happened? Let me hit home. I'm, I'm got disoriented. When you compare the food that, like say you're going to make something like a salad, you got to buy the vegetables for it. You got to buy, ooh, we do have a cop car. This may help me. You got to cut up all the vegetables. You got to <clears throat> get everything else that goes for it. All of that stuff compared to it, like all the vegetables to buy, at least in the U.S. I don't know what it's like in other states. Excuse me. You could spend all that money, all that time. Louisville, Louisville? Getting stuff for just a salad. And that might not be the only thing you have to eat. That's like part of it. There's more to it than that. Or you can just get a fat, like a happy meal for $2 or $3 or $5, however much it is. I don't know. I haven't actually eaten any of those things in a while. It's more cost effective to just buy the fast food than it is to actually buy chicken, cook a chicken, you know. And that's just like one aspect of it. There. 
So that Louisville. All right, where the hell is Louisville, Mississippi? Did I actually see it at some point? It's a bit of a problem as far as dealing with it. And <clears throat> you could argue a lot of that could be um, fixed with like providing the people who can educate people onto actually, okay, this is what you need to buy. You should be buying this, not that education type stuff on, say, a lot of unemployment. <laughs> um, where did I read that in here? Oh, uh, here we go. Like, Medicaid, welfare, food stamps like that. But you could give pamphlets, you could give information, stuff like that. But all that costs money. And the state itself is very fiscally conservative in the sense that it doesn't like spending money that it feels is frivolous. There is a thought, at least in the U.S., that say you are on welfare, that you automatically are doing it because you're too lazy, not because you uh, can't work, you have a disability, you're in between jobs. It's just the default assumption is that the only reason you're on welfare is because you're a lazy bum and you're leeching off the system. It's kind of the um, prevalent thought with a lot of people. Okay, that's, that's an unfair assumption, we'll say. Where the hell is Louisville? I got 10 seconds. I feel like I saw it earlier. I'm just going to click here and maybe be close. Was it outside Jackson? Fuck. It was literally there. I am so not paying attention this time. I am lost in the sauce, so to speak. Off around of Mississippi. Oh, I feel I did very bad on many aspects on this video. From not remembering how to spell, to poorly explaining anything having to do with this state. It's weird. Challenging past. Half thoughts. Half sentences, weird, weird sum ups of things I didn't finish. I'm going to give myself a zero on this video and apologize. But hopefully, your Monday will go better than this. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, corrections, thoughts, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Hopefully, if you're like, what the hell is this guy talking about? I've at least compelled you to go find out for yourself and be like, oh, he's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Or be like, okay, he did mention a few things. I'll go read about it. Be a little bit more educated than I am. You know, something you can go deep dive for like 15 minutes on and be like, oh, okay, now I understand. Say you live in another country, another part of the state. You're like, so that's what that part of the world's like. Interesting things like that. Anyway, that's going to do it for our Monday video. We'll be back on Wednesday with another one. Um, maybe I'll start doing something else. I keep threatening this, but then nothing ever comes of it just because you know, we're all quarantined. At least here in the U.S. we are. Well, not every state. Some others aren't. And maybe if I remember, I'll actually talk about that next video. But. Until then, uh, we'll see you again. Be safe, be smart, and be good. <laughs>